Hello and welcome to my next video in my 3D printed engine series. Today is a cool day because I've just printed the parts for my first engine upgrades. If you haven't seen my previous videos on my other model engines, I would highly recommend checking those out. The links for those will be in the description below. This engine is my newest and most powerful engine I've made so far. The upgrades are complete and now I think it's time to put them on the engine. Enjoy! mini here with the upgrades installed and yeah we're just gonna test it at different PSI's and compare the results of this with basically last week's video. We're gonna start it out at 30 PSI. This will be test one and three, two, one. Oh this is at 30 PSI and it's actually idling. See that This is 40 PSI, test one, and three, two, one. Wow. I think blows a lot of air. Okay, 50 PSI, test one, and three, Two, one, three, two, one. Sixty PSI, test one, and three, two, one. Seventy PSI test one and three, two, one. Three, two, one. Oh, we blew an axle. If you look right there, that bearing actually popped out. All right, that's actually good to know. This thing failed at seventy PSI, and 
it's worth talking about this because it was doing this with the last one. So this one, I'm actually not surprised that it failed simply because when I was testing this earlier, it failed, but it was 80 PSI. I think I know the reason for that, and that is actually the rods that connect the pistons to the crankshaft. They're too short, and they're actually not tight enough in the crankshaft. So basically, when this thing gets going super fast, it puts a lot of force on those crankshaft rods, and basically, they'll just pop out from like the part they're connected to, and it's been happening over and over again. And I think I'm gonna need to address that fix in the next video. However, this test was still a success because I actually got it to run at 30 PSI and last week's wouldn't do that. So yeah, all right, let's go talk about the mods. I have three new upgrades that I'm gonna be going over. Those upgrades are the crankshaft front plate, the cylinder block, and the compression cab. The crankshaft front plate was upgraded because the old one, uh, the hole that goes through it was too loose to allow the crankshaft to move properly. If you take a look at this clip, you'll see the crankshaft is actually vibrating an excessive amount. See, this isn't a good thing as it'll actually vibrate more and more as the speed of the engine increases. The new part has tighter tolerances and almost completely fixes this problem. The cylinder block and the compression cap were both upgraded to allow for one main upgrade. This upgrade is a two-stroke valve system. In my first GT Mini, we can see that the compression cap only has two air inlets into the engine. This means that the different pistons would switch off for power stroke. However, there wasn't an exhaust valve to properly vent the air. In my new compression cap, I found a way to solve this problem. The two pistons now instantly switch between a power stroke and an exhaust stroke. This increases engine efficiency and helps to maintain the amount of air lost to the environment. I just wanted to say thanks for taking the time to watch my video. I hope you're going to stick around because I have a lot more videos coming for this project. But as always, I'm Graydon and I will see you in the next one.